Hello and welcome to the Baking Mad Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make lovely, light, fluffy, crisp Yorkshire puddings to serve with your Sunday lunch. So you need 115 grams of Allinson's plain flour. You don't need self-raising. Plain is all you need because it's the eggs that's doing the rising for you. So 115 grams plain flour. No need to sift it. Add two medium eggs and drop them in the middle. And then with a wooden spoon, beat that until it's nice and smooth. I'm going to add a pinch of salt while I'm at it. Now most people just make plain Yorkshire puddings um, and you can make a big one in a baking tray if you want to. Um, or I'm going to do sort of bun sized ones which are perfect for Sunday lunch. But also, if you want to, you can get a bit creative. Um, you can add some chopped herbs, chopped parsley, uh, rosemary, thyme. Um, you can add a little bit of chopped fried onion to the batter. Maybe even some snipped bacon. So you can do all sorts of things with it. And the trick is to get it nice and smooth and then gradually beat in your milk. So what you want is a nice rich thick batter without any lumps so give it a good beat with a wooden spoon and then if you want to you can switch over to a whisk if that's easier for you which i'll do You can use uh, one egg if you want slightly plainer um, Yorkshire puds, but two eggs gives a really nice golden crisp batter that rises really well. So, there we go. Now, while that's sitting, you can leave that to sit. The most important thing about making Yorkshire puddings, the secret of success, is to get a little bit of oil in each bun tin, just a splash, don't need a great deal. And get this really hot. That is the most important bit. Because if the oil's not hot, your Yorkshire's won't rise. So only, I don't know, half a teaspoonful in each one. Traditionally they use lard um, or beef dripping. I think that gives it a lovely flavour, but I just use oil and put that into a really hot oven about 425 degrees Fahrenheit that's 220 um, centigrade or about 200 on fan and that's gas 7. Put it in the oven for about five minutes until the oil is really smoky hot. So I'm just going to pour the batter into a jug because it makes it much easier to pour it into the bun tins and they should be ready and that feels nice and hot so pour the batter in until it comes up you can you hear the sizzle and you can, can you see how it's starting to cook immediately, the batter hits the hot oil? That's what you want because that's starting to fry the outside so you get nice crispy edges and that instant heat will start the batter rising as soon as it goes in the oven. That should just about make 12. There we go. The other thing you could add to your batter if you want is some um, whole grain mustard or a little bit of grated horseradish, which is really nice to go with your roast beef. So pop those in the oven. You don't waste any time. You don't want them sitting out for any time. You want to keep that heat. So they go straight back in the oven, really hot, and in about 15 minutes, they should be risen and crisp and golden brown. Okay, I think 
We're ready? Just give them a tap and they feel nice and crisp. If you take them out too soon, they might um, collapse. So make sure they're nice and crisp when you tap them. And there we are, beautifully crispy Yorkshire puddings ready to serve for your Sunday lunch.